The more you know, the less you grow. Wait, what? No, really, the more you know, the less you grow. But I thought the whole point of college and school is to find answers to problems, to gain more skills needed to know more stuff more efficiently, to cram. If you don't know something on an exam, you're pretty likely to bomb the exam, right? Well, my generation specifically has gotten really accustomed to knowing everything all the time, thanks to the internet. And this has become a little bit problematic. Because then when we don't know something, like when we're waiting for our results from the exam, we freak out. We think, ah, I should have put B instead of A. We panic. We second guess. We begin to drown in uncertainty. This is the unknown. And human beings do not deal with this very well. This is what school is not going to teach you. When there are no answers, it is very natural for us to become anxiety-ridden because we have become extremely impatient. But this isn't completely our fault. Allow me to explain a potential theory to why we have developed this fear of the unknown. Summer 2012. I'm 12, my three sisters younger than me pulling our wagon full of chairs and a folding table to the end of the block where we would sell our fresh squeezed lemonade. <laughs> that was really just water, powder, and like 10 ice cubes thrown together in a pitcher with tons of spit from the double dip taste tester spoons. <sighs> but we had a goal. We were making money. So we can get Slurpees from 7-Eleven with our friends. And on the surface, that's all you need in childhood. It was fantastic. But subconsciously, we were working those lemonade stands because we were watching our parents struggle through the Great Recession. 2008 was tough. I watched my parents try to balance two jobs apiece while raising four daughters. I noticed these little shifts in our daily normalcies. I watched my mom and dad try their best to keep things the same, try to maintain that life that we were accustomed to, the life we always knew. I watched them fight to keep our house and eventually end up losing it. And this wasn't just my family. Many young eyes in my generation watched those same struggles and felt that constant nagging feeling like we don't have enough, we can never keep up. I think that because of the Great Recession, we now live in this paradox. We try to know everything. We try to be prepared for the future. But when it comes to an unknown, we are always going to fall short because you can never know enough to prevent an unknown. And because we can't have control of an unknown, we as a generation have developed a fear of the unknown, a fear of not knowing what is going to come next, a fear of sitting with no answers. But what if we changed our perspective change the whole narrative of the unknown. Instead of fearing what we do not know, what if we perceived it as an opportunity to grow? Research in psychology continues to highlight how extremely capable human beings are at doing just that. A recent study concluded that when participants simply changed the way they thought, the way they thought about a stress-inducing event, while it was happening, these participants reported less negative affect associated with that bad event. These researchers called it the broadened perspective approach very fittingly. And it's this idea that even if a bad event is occurring, it's actually rare compared to all of the good things that are happening at the same time. This simple change is what allowed these participants to feel better during a tough time. So a few years ago, I and many of you probably used this same tactic unknowingly to get through our global unknown lockdown. Yes. 
sweet, sweet quarantine. And I think of all people in the whole wide world, I hated quarantine the most because I had just gotten used to college. I had just gotten my grades where they were supposed to be. I was just finding my groove. And all of a sudden, I'm home, and I can't see anybody and I can't do anything all day long, and I questioned everything. When, why, how, when will this end? Why is this happening? How did this start? And a few months in, I had this epiphany. I said, no, wait, 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 wait. College will come back. Everything will probably go back to how it was. You know what won't, though? Time. And suddenly, I got really good at golfing and arts and crafts. But seriously, I perceived quarantine as an opportunity instead of a setback. And in doing this, I discovered new hobbies. I created a very successful small business, and I was blessed with time. Time that I got to spend with my family before everyone grew up and went to college. And this is how I learned to embrace the unknown because I would not have done these things if I hadn't shifted my perspective, seen that bigger picture of, hey, this won't be forever, so let's make this time count. And I grew through it. So the overarching theme of this TEDx is the sky is not the limit. Well, the unknown is not the limit. And even if your unknown isn't very clear to you right now, do not fear it. Broaden your perspective. Look at the bigger picture so you don't limit what you could achieve in this very moment. Use the unknown as an opportunity to develop in an unprecedented manner. The future will always come, but the present is here only once. Live in the present. And when you find yourself in a situation asking, why? Stop. Change that perspective and say to yourself, I might not know, but it is time to grow. Thank you.